Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of All Wheel Drive. And today I'm with a good friend of mine, Chris. And Chris has one of the best cars on the market right now in the Subaru WRX. So say hello to Chris. Chris, say hello to the fans. How's it going, everyone? Uh, so Chris and I go back quite a while. We've worked on uh, advertising for a long time together uh, on automotive brands. And so we bonded over cars, motorcycles, and anything with a motor. So this is a perfect venue for us. Uh, Chris is rocking this 2015? Uh, same body style, but 2017. This is, I guess you could say, one step up from the base. So okay. it has the fog lights and the uh, sunroof. This has actually just been pushed to stage two, so I think we're just under maybe 290, 280 estimate. Okay. I know, you know, that's not a, official. That's course. a pretty good bump, though. I mean, yeah. you know, we're talking, what, 15, 25 horsepower difference from the stage two? And if you don't mind explaining to us, uh, you know, for us who don't speak WRX upgrade, what does the stage two entail? So the stage two for the off-the-shelf map is the intake and the J-pipe, which is the downpipe. Okay. Point. All right. All bolt-ons, uh, the off-the-shelf map helps, uh, makes it really easy, you just you can do it all yourself, but some of the work you may want to have a mechanic do. Okay, uh, so the next thing really is just to give it a drive. I mean, you know, that's what we do at all-wheel drive. We drive them all. So let's take a look at the inside and then we're going to hit the road. So Chris, you've heard me talk about seats and looking at the seats in this car, man, they're very, uh, they're very they look very purposeful. Yes, uh, so that's one of the selling points that I had for this car was that I needed something to hold me while I drove, but still comfortable enough to daily drive. So One of the things that always inspires me about a car is the way that the gauge instrument panel looks, and it kind of gives you a sense of what the car is intended to do. And, you know, when you see those gauges moving, I like the old analog gauges. Uh, the digital stuff's cool, but for me, the analog just kind of it, it resonates a little bit more with me in terms of pure performance. And so looking at that just kind of gives me that sense of, you know, this was this was designed with that in mind. And so that's kind of cool to still see. Uh, 6B transmission, are those, uh, what are your gear ratios like? Are they really low? Uh, they're not too bad. Um, this is only the second car that I've had that stick, so it feels a lot more aggressive than what I had previously, which is a old Honda Prelude. Right. So. I'm really proud of you for getting the stick. Well, thank you. Sticking with, <laughs> sticking with the stick, you know? Um, Not too many of us left. I know, right? All right, so we're gonna get on the road here and just uh, go for a ride and just get some uh, get some impressions for how the car drives. So, what what made you decide to uh, go with the WRX? I mean, you know, we talked about you having the Prelude before. How how hard was it to come to the decision of what it would be? Did you know it was going to be the WRX, or did you have to think about several other cars first? It had to be all-wheel drive. It needed okay. to be a sedan, and it had to be uh, somewhat economical i mean this is somewhat <laughs> fast and somewhat economical i think so that's a pretty good decision right i think that's a pretty smart approach and if it's going to be your everyday car if you can get all those things in one why not so with this tune that you got does that sound become more evident that uh that blow off is that part of it or is a it little always bit, something yeah. like that so none of the uh blow off valves it's just the intake yeah. that is it's got a really good takeoff too. I mean, it's, you can feel the uh, the torque kick in. Yeah. Really good low end, but then you can throw it up all the way to the high gears, and then you can cruise at like 2,000 RPM. So it's both best of both worlds. Yeah. But the handling is completely different. I'm probably biased because I came from a front wheel drive car, but yeah. it handles amazing. Uh, the stock tires that come with this are pretty decent I do get a little bit of slip if I take it too aggressively but yeah that's something you can upgrade when you get new wheels because yeah I'm assuming that's something that you'll probably do in the near future yeah it's one of the best options again that you can get if you want a car that's an everyday car that you can turn into you know your alter ego whenever the time permits right. and that was the other thing too I actually wanted to stay away from any other makes so specifically Japanese yeah. imported models like something that also had that reliability exactly it. exactly do you have any idea where we're going I have no idea <laughs> I was waiting for you to tell me this is this is your show technically <laughs> we're just driving guys and it's it's a lot of fun uh hang a right if you can get over yeah, we'll be this will be the five and then we can take the uh we should South. be up by the one three three 
Um, I was just watching. I'm like, I wonder if he knows where he's going. I'm gonna just let. I'm gonna just ride this out and see where we end up. Yeah, this thing is really, really nice. Have you joined any um, Subaru clubs? <laughs> Uh, I use them as resources, but I don't actually have like a membership or anything. Or so you got go to the blog like for information, good ideas and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. okay, like, yeah. And that's the thing too. You have so much support with uh, this brand and yeah. this car. Yeah, like there's someone out there that will actually help you with uh, whatever problem you're having. Right. You know, because people that buy these cars, man, they're very they're very passionate about them. Subaru doesn't have a giant market, but the market they have has got such a loyalty to it. Yeah. It rides pretty well too. I mean, the suspension yes. seems so really suspension good. Suspension is all stock. Um, I think most people, what they say is that if you're looking for something that's not too aggressive, you can just put some lowering springs on it, and you're actually pretty good. The struts will do it, so like do the job. But these engines, you know, have such great, great low end and mid range, just because of the design of it. It kind of reminds me of a V-twin engine. Because those, yeah. those V-twins, they always have a lot of torque down low. You don't have to rev them really high to get what you want out of it. Well, this is a pretty awesome little car, man. It is. I'm glad we got a chance to finally drive it. I know, we've been talking about it. We've been talking for about it for forever. about a decade. This is one of my favorite cars. It always has been. And I think a lot of people out there just you know feel the same way. And until you sit in one, you know, you really you have to drive. You really don't you really don't get the uh, you really don't get the impression. Well it's been a fun ride. Thanks again for my friend Chris. Not a problem. And, Happy uh, to help. Man. Yeah. So we'll see we'll see more of Chris in the future. Uh, but that's it for us today. All we'll drive. It's been great. Thank you guys for watching, tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Until the next time. Peace.